Now at four, breaking news. Another hillside gives way in San Clemente. Mm. This time, the patio of a beloved and historic cultural center gives way, sending tons of dirt and debris dangerously close to commuter railroad tracks. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Juan Fernandez. This is KCAL News at 4, streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. We begin with that breaking news. The landmark is known as Casa Romantica. It's on the ocean from bluff near the San Clemente Pier. Yeah, geologists have been keeping an eye on it since cracks appeared in the patio weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Well, today, a chunk of the hillside gave way. KCAL Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live with a look at the situation right now there. Michelle? You guys, this is devastating. We're standing right above it here. It was about one o'clock today when the back patio simply collapsed. Now, part of the hillside here at Casa Romantica, right above the San Clemente Pier, is giving way. Now, this has been happening slight movement for the last 10 days, but nothing as dramatic as this. As you said, this is a beloved city cultural center. It's now, of course, off limits. And the large oceanfront apartment building next to it on Avenida Granada has been red tagged. That is known as Building A. This is the third landslide recently in San Clemente after our heavy rains. This slide has severe impacts and has now shut down rail service between Laguna Niguel and Oceanside. There's also a beach trail right below this bluff. It has been closed. Victor Cabral sits on the San Clemente City Council. Sir, you were here right before or at the time when this happened. Please describe what you saw. Uh, well, I've been here every day for the past 10 days. Uh, this has been slipping every day, about an inch a day. Uh, today, it fell about 20 feet. Uh, we were here with the Coastal Commission uh, observing, taking them through some of the problems we have here in San Clemente, uh, this being one of the worst, and to, to our surprise today, it had, it had collapsed. So, so where do you go from here? Well, I think we look uh, short term at the safety of the population. That's our immediate concern. How do we protect people in the buildings adjacent, the buildings below? And we, uh, of course, our board of uh, supervisors here to make sure the OCTA and the rails are, are protected. We, we also need to protect the, the integrity of the building. So we have engineers. We have about four engi engineers here right now assessing the complete damage. Mr. Cabral, thank you. I'm going to switch over to Supervisor Katrina Foley. You sit on the board of directors of the OCTA. That's the Orange County Transportation Authority, which has jurisdiction of the tracks. There are train tracks below us here. So most dramatically, once again, no trains moving through here. That's right. This is our third time that the rail service has been closed in the last two years due to landslides like this. So we do see this as a critical crisis. Uh, my uh, emergency declaration expires on May 9th and so I'm planning to request that we extend that time to address this new issue. We've got to look at the long-term studies related to this rail corridor because it's just not safe. This hillside is actually encroaching on the track, so there is land that has moved onto the rails. Yeah, this is actually the worst situation we've had in the last two years. In the other situations, we were able to take proactive steps to hold the hillside up. Here we see that the, the debris and everything is actually on the track area, so it's, it, that's why we had to close it. So people will be bused as opposed to moving trains through here? Well, we're giving $50 Uber uh, gift cards for people to be able to get, you know, who are displaced from the trains being closed. And we're working on the bridge busing as well. And we're talking about Metrolink, Amtrak, and freight. That's right. Okay, thank you both. Um, we want to tell you that a Celtic festival was scheduled here for Casa Romantica, a five day festival. Of course, that's now canceled. And this is a very popular spot for weddings. No weddings planned this weekend, but there are plenty planned for the next year or so. And those, of course, will be up in the air. Now, the city of San Clemente did vote just on Monday to spend $75,000 to put meters into the ground. 
Um, that is to study and to chart the land movement here. Those meters have now been removed as a result of this landslide. And right behind me here, as we said, this is the building where you see the man up on the roof there. That building has now been red tagged, and I'm told that the Orange County Sheriff's Department is going to be here momentarily to start removing all of the people who live there because they say it simply isn't safe to be on this very unstable hillside. That's the latest live in San Clemente. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. All right, Michelle, thank you very much for that update.